former Agriculture, Mechanization and Irrigation Development Minister Dr. Joseph made allegedly looted farm equipment and inputs worth millions of dollars, which he hid at his Tara farm in Headlands, Manigalin Province. Former Agriculture Minister Joseph made the implements include 10 center pivots, 7 brand and new tractors, 7 planters, 3 ridges, 2 harrows, 6 generators and 4 pumps. Also discovered at the farm were wheelchairs, expired maize seed, 600 bags of blend fertilizer, 600 bags of urea, expired drugs and walking aids. The Maconi District Lands Committee masterminded an inspection of farms belonging to politicians and, in the process, discovered the loot. Maconi District Assistant Administrator Mr. Pasten Starandwer claimed the equipment was collected between 2007 and 2009. It has been lying idle. We visited Tara Farm and discovered that Dr. Joseph Maid is not on the ground. Only his manager and 19 workers who are bitter that they have not been paid for the past 12 months, are utilizing 30 hectares. He owns 480 head of cattle and 90 goats, said Mr. Tarandwa. As we toured the farm we discovered lots of equipment that has been lying idle since 2007. Some of it is worn out. The equipment includes brand new irrigation pipes, 7 tractors, 7 statue of their planters, 3 ridges, disc harrows and 10 center pivots. According to the farm manager, the equipment was delivered at the farm in 2007, he said. We also discovered six statue of their generators, each with capacity to light the whole of Russ Ape. There were also four brand and new pumps. When we visited the warehouse we found at least 600 bags of blend e fertilizer, 630 bags of Urea, brand and new boxed wheelchairs, bicycle units, expired medical equipment, expired seed close to two tons. And dated 2008, and rolls of barbed wire, said Mr. Tarandwa. Our visit was not targeted. At Tara Farm, we are visiting all farms in the district. We just bumped into them. As we toured the farm to gauge its capacity utilization and size with a view to Make recommendations to have those farms exceeding 400 hectares downsized, said Mr. Tarandwa. The farm is one of the biggest in Manigalin province. Tara Farm is an annexation of two properties, Tara of Helen Vale and Causeway of Tara, making it one of the biggest farms in Manigaland at 1,200 hectares, instead of the recommended 400 hectares, he said. Apart from Tara Farm, the committee which included members of the Joint Operations Command JOC, also visited the remaining extension of Maidstone, belonging to former Manigalin Governor C.D.E. Tinichigudu. The farm exceeds the size cap. It was being leased out to one Mr. Lubsha. The re of Maidstone farm measures 755 hectares, and we discovered that only 100 hectares was being utilized. It is not Mr. Chigudu who is utilizing that farm, but one white farmer called Lubsha, he said. The committee said Mona Farm, owned by Christine Murimbwe, Lawn Cop, owned by Mr. Dinamus Mutasa and Morris to farm, owned by Mr. Mike. Nyabadza, also exceed set farm sizes, are underutilized and being leased. We also visited Lawn Cop Farm and discovered that Mr. Mutasa is not the one using the farm, but a white farmer Mr. Dennis Chapman. The farm is 700 hectares and only 290 hectares are being utilized. The farm is also an annexation of three properties, namely Lawn Cop, Sunrise, and the late C.D. Itungamare's farm, said Mr. Tarandwa. Some of the farms in Manigaland are as big as 3,000 hectares. The maximum farm size in Natural Region 1 was pegged at 250 hectares, Region 2 400 hectares. Region 3 500 hectares, Regions 4 and 5 1000 hectares and 2000 hectares respectively. Efforts to get a comment from Dr. Maid were fruitless yesterday. Manica Post